Tech fans, welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. And this week has been one hell of a week in tech announcements. Lots of stuff has been going on. Now, NVIDIA, they had their technology conference last week. And Jensen Hung, their president, had a release talking about a brand new card for those people out there who make games, make movies, and actually use their video card to make money. This is the brand new Titan Z. Now, this thing's supposed to be the zombie killer. <laughs> But probably not. Maybe not kill a zombie, but maybe you pick the damn card up and you smack a zombie enough times in his fracking head, I suppose he'd die. You know, I don't know if I'd recommend that to Rick over on The Walking Dead, but, you know, possibly they can kick him a card and he can see how many smacks it takes to kill a zombie. Now, this thing is going to be the top-of-the-line workstation graphics card that you can get your hands on from NVIDIA. 12 gigabytes of dedicated memory. This thing can power... 5K multiple monitors all on a single card featuring dual Kepler GPUs. Now the only backside is it's gonna be about $3,000. So those people in the professional position who actually you know use the card at professional level, they'll be the people who are gonna buy this. For gamers and people like that, you'd probably be out of your mind to buy this card unless you just want to just have bragging rights and just be the biggest swinging thing in town. But other than that, you'd probably be wasting your money. So. Can this thing be used, though, to actually kill a zombie? I don't know. We'd have to ask Rick from The Walking Dead to get one and actually smack a zombie in the head a bunch of times and see how many times it takes to kill him. Now, B, Del Rizzo, you know, over there in video, this is a thought. Can you get your card onto the show and then get him to smack a zombie with it and see how many times it takes a zombie to die? I think it's a pretty cool thing. But at the end of the day, this is going to be the hottest card from NVIDIA. 3,000 bucks, you guys want more details, we'll have that all of that over on the website. So make sure you guys check out that link down below. Next up in tech news. Now, I don't know if any people out there happen to catch this over on eBay, but one of the guys who works at Microsoft, the development team, he was given a gift of a totally white Xbox One. And he sold this thing on eBay and he was asking about $1,800 for this. Now, this thing is probably a pretty one of a kind thing, but the price is a little bit high. I guess this guy probably needed to pay his rent or something. I don't know if I was given a gift like that from the dev team, it meant a lot to me. I probably would have kept it. But I guess if you're a collector and you're looking for something that's totally different, this might be something that you're looking for. Now, I don't know if this thing is actually sold yet, but if you're into Xbox One, you're a collector and you want to get a one-of-a-kind thing that was actually given from Microsoft to this dude, you guys should check this out down below. We got a full story and all the pics on this, so if you guys are interested in this kind of thing, either way, whether you're negative or positive, leave your comment down below and let me hear what you have to say. Now, me personally, I had 1800 bucks. I'd build me one badass gaming PZ. Thumbs up if you agree with me. Hit that like button and let me know you agree. Now, last but not least in the news this week, Oculus been purchased by all the people over on Facebook. Now, thing came out, got sold. Tension was like, wow, holy macaroni, these guys bought it. Next day, public reaction was a little bit different because I guess most people don't want to play, you know, Farmville, you know, on the Oculus Rift. Now this can, you know, be good for them, but is it going to be bad for the public? I mean, is this project now just going to become some little, like, little weird thing like the rest of the stuff in Facebook? Me personally, I'm kind of disappointed in Facebook. I know it's a free service and everything, but we kind of like built our business. We wrapped our arms around them, acted like family, and they're kind of like, you know, not helping us out anymore. So it's like, now they have bought this Oculus. Now are these guys going to kill it and screw it up like they've done everything else so far or will they leave it alone now one dude who was a developer for oculus rift who is doing the minecraft stuff he's actually pulled out of the development so obviously he doesn't think it's a good idea now we want to hear what you guys think do you guys think it's a good idea or do you guys think it's a bad idea just let us know your opinions why if and how you think it's going to affect everybody by them buying the oculus rift i'm sure there'll be lots of other products that come out now that'll have a lot Lot more pacing but this one now is in the hands of the facebook folks so we will see where that goes so those are all the stories for this week a lot of really cool stuff like usual everything will be down there below the like button which i know you guys are going to go wacky kecky kung fu style on so you guys can check out all those stories so thanks for watching tech of tomorrow if you guys aren't subbed you like what you see then hey make sure you guys hit that sub button so you can see more content here from tech of tomorrow peace out everybody